It all began in 1892. The equipment may look different and the names change, but the rivalry remains the same. From its roots at Piedmont Park in Atlanta to Athens and Auburn, legendary coaches, college football's greatest players, magical moments etched in history, unleashing the emotions of the Deep South's oldest rivalry. It's Go Dogs. It's War Eagle. It's Georgia and Auburn for the 124th time. And with that, the Home Depot SEC on CBS brings us to Pat Dye Field, Jordan Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama, where the Tigers rank 12th host the fourth ranked Georgia Bulldogs. And Friday in Auburn, today, picture perfect. Georgia won the toss and deferred. So the Auburn Tigers will get the football first in front of their sellout crowd. Rodrigo Blankenship's got it teed up for the dogs. And we're underway in the plains. And Auburn will go to work at the 25-yard line. At tailback with Mix. And a quick throw out in the flat to Eli Stove. And Stove with a quick 14-yard pickup. Two-yard, two-year fast nickel defense. On third and six, Nicks the quick slant, and it's a first down. That's it. That's what he has to do. Set your feet, let it go. Again, the slant, again complete. First down, Seth Williams. Auburn's given up this year. Auburn got their last third down pickup. This one's third down and ten. Nicks wanted to throw the slant, now scrambles to try to find a receiver. Found one short of the first down is Seth Williams by about three. Number 25. So on the 10th play of the drive, Anders Carlson from 47. And it is wide right. Georgia still hasn't allowed an opening possession. Georgia only deserves six. <laughs> Expect Georgia's first pass to the ball game from Jake Fromm. Has time, plenty of it, and had to come back to his check down, and it's DeAndre Swift who lost about three. That's the game. They could have got an easy five yards by just reacting to that play where the offensive line. Yeah, I would imagine Jack Driscoll would have dropped, but instead the throw on a crossing route, and this one is going nowhere, courtesy of Richard LeCount, who tackled him twice. Elijah Holyfield was just standing on the sideline. Oh, yes. On first down, from going to go deep. Got a man out there and get him. Dominique Blaylock, touchdown. <laughs> 51 yards on the score. To space to stop up, up and throw the ball. Rodrigo Blankenship's 187th consecutive extra point is good in the Auburn backfield on second and seven. And they give it to Booby now and end around to Schwartz. Doesn't matter if you got all that speed if you get bottled up like that. And Georgia had that one team back at the 20. Quick throw out in the flat to Whitlow. He slips a little bit. Got back. Across the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Fourth down and punting fuse, to be honest with you. Second down and six. Just got the snap off. DeAndre Swift got first down. Out across the 35 to the 36. The rusher right here coming at an angle. Where do they put pressure? From throws the out, got it complete. Pickens has to fight for the first down, and he got it. From pressure this time, he's going to go down, and it's Marlon Davidson. There's his buddy. As Marlon said, Marlon's going to do what he do, and he just got the sack and Jake Fromm. <laughs> the 51-yard touchdown from Jake Fromm. And now Bo Nix backpedals for the Tigers, chased by Ojolari, and he's going to have to run out of bounds at about the 21-yard line. 
Seven nothing Georgia in the oh what a spin Swift. move by DeAndre Swift. Wow. Yep. Draw play to Swift. Try to bounce it outside. DeAndre Swift. Good run. Ball out. And it goes out of bounds. Luckily for Georgia. Out of the fumble, I'm a little confused. Maybe Gene can help us why it goes back. Meantime, Jake Fromm rolls to throw. And nobody out there. Gene's territories are rules of fit. Daring Auburn to run the ball. Here comes a blitz from the secondary. Knicks throws complete to Hastings. And Will Hastings close to a first down. And they get the first down with Whitlow on the ground. First down for Auburn. Knicks almost looked to the sideline and didn't see the snap. And now he's going to go deep for Schwartz. And in out of his hands, Daniel got a hand in there at the last moment. Well, if you saw last week's game when he got eight men in the box, there's LeCount this time. And it's a direct snap to Whitlow, and he's not going to get there. Got about a yard. It's Whitlow again. Direct snap coming. And hesitates, tries to cut back. There's nowhere to hide. Dropped by David Marshall. Well, he was eventually dropped by. From. Fires in and out of the hands of Dominic Blaylock. Would have been a first down, but a nice play by Jabari Stowe. Back in the Auburn backfield. Knicks to throw down the middle. Got it. Seth Williams on the run. Williams with a stiff arm. Out to the 45 yard line. It was one of their big third and nine. Knicks fires complete to short, and, and it's good for a first down. 44. Now they go quickly, and it's Knicks on the keeper. He lost the ball. Might be Georgia. Knicks had a second chance at it, but I think it slipped away. Jermaine Johnson might be on the bottom of that pile. Richard LeCount's down there, and LeCount's got the ball. Johnson's the guy that caused it. LeCount. Third and five, it'll be Jake all by his lonesome in the Georgia backfield. From throws, almost picked off. Nice play by Javaris Day. Next quick throw, two highs. It picked off by Daniel. I think it skipped. And it did, but Georgia gets the stop. Yeah, that. Dogs from their own 47. From throws complete. Out of bounds. Kyrus Jackson. Lines up. They're going away from number 13, Davis. They're going at Curry. Draw play. DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift is Swift. And almost took it. There's his patented move, too, when he breaks the line of scrimmage. 26 yard. Carry by Swift from out wide side completes Demetrius Robertson. It's Wolf in the backfield with Harriman from under center. Play fake. Fromm's going to loft it to Harriman. Brian Harriman touchdown Georgia. Five yard scoring toss and Georgia does get a touchdown before halftime. Up and good. So back. Yep. Third and one. Nick's going to throw on the run to Schwartz, and he got just enough. And you're saying. A quick wide out screen to Williams. Boy, George is all over it. It wasn't accurate enough. By the. Jake Fromm in the gun, standing at his own goal line. Third down and seven. Fromm rolling right. Has to throw it before he wants to, and it's incomplete. Here comes the pressure. Knicks felt it. And from behind, he goes down. The man that brought the heat stayed with it. Tyreek Stevenson. He's at 98, so almost 100 for Swift on top of that 1,000 for the season. Harrion's in there in his spot right now. 
Second down and nine. There's Brian Harry and try to get it wide. Davidson trying to track him down and can't. Well, he'll make the tackle, but not before he got to the. It feels like a field goal is going to be the end of it for Auburn. There's the end around on the play for Kiaris Jackson. Good speed and a good first down run. Third down and four, Georgia. Fromm finally set the throw one on this series. Completes it to Robinson. First down inside the 20. Swift behind Fromm. Play action. Jake lofts it to the corner. Touchdown, Eli Wolf. Much like the Florida completion that ended that game, this one ends in a touchdown. Georgia, a three touchdown lead. Rodrigo Blankenship for the point after. Up and perfect. And it's going to be a low motion man. As the ball just shaded on the dog side of midfield. Knicks play fake. Deep middle. Got his man. And it's Shedrick Jackson. So they finally got a big day. So far, not. Third and nine. Two down territory. Knicks throws a little bit low and he couldn't keep his receiver running. Will Hastings makes the catch, but already they're trying to stop a fourth and five right here. Nick slant incomplete. The flag comes in on oh, Stokes. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. And that time the big body of Jake. Nine and one, and they're trying to keep Auburn out of the end zone. Nix, the throw out in the flat. It's still not a rushing touchdown, but it's an Auburn touchdown to Eli Stone. up and good. So finally in the receivers and the tight end Werner down at the bottom of your screen. Jake Fromm. Here comes the heat. Jake's going to go deep. And out of bounds. And George Pickens was. Story of college football for two years. Yep. Bonitz. His team trailing by two touchdowns down the middle of Seth Williams' favorite target. And it's down to the 35. Coverage. Pick up a 24. And looking for more, the side armor out to Williams again. He broke a tackle. Seth Williams down to the 20. And another Auburn first down. On it. At the 10 yard line. Stack receivers both ways, but the give is to Whitlow. Waits for his blocking. Got it down first and goal. The owner OT and opens it up. Tigers at the Georgia two. Knicks keeps it. Dives. Touchdown, Auburn. Here we go. These games never end easy, do they? Up and good. Auburn takes six. They're coming again from late throw, incomplete, broken up by McCreary. From the 28, Bo Nix fires complete Schwartz. They wrap him up, but he gets nine yards. Second and short. They'll keep it on the ground to Whitlow, and he's got a big run out to the 45. Five. Biggest play of the day so far. Again, the snap was a little off. Nix backpedals, throws, incomplete. Closest man was Hastings, but Rick. Georgia just brings four. Knicks wanted to get rid of it in a hurry. Now he's going to run and he's going to get it. First down. This has shade. Schwartz in motion. They've thrown to him out in the flat a couple times on this drive. Knicks, quarterback draw. Going to be short. Fourth down at two. Boy, he hit. And that play. Two yards away from the line of scrimmage. Up they come. Nix is going to be under center. That's a rarity. He fakes it. Bootleg throws in the flat. In and out of the hands of Harold Joyner. Incomplete. Bad throw. He made all those. Third and five. Throws in the flat to DeAndre Swift. Can he make anybody miss? No. Not that time. Javaris Davis. How many? Had many. Third and ten. Nix over the middle. Completes it. Nope. nope, dropped it. Seth Williams had it in his hands. And it's fourth down. If Georgia stops this, it's ball game. Bonitz 
Set to fire again, or will he? He's not going to get it off. He's sacked that time by Trayvon Walker. They finally get home, and their coach hits the turf and says, Get on for dear life. I got a feeling Chamberlain Smith's going to get a game ball from Georgia. She did her job. As Gary said, Georgia did its job. Big win as the dogs hold on to win 21 to 14. And they are the SEC East champions again. And a third straight trip to Atlanta to play for all the SEC marbles. So they got one more SEC obstacle in their way. That's next week. And there, Jake Fromm. That was probably his little brother. It I was, think. yep. His brother plays quite a thriller. Started with War Eagle. It's going to end with Go Dogs. 21-14 is the final from Jordan Hare in Auburn, Alabama. For Gary Danielson and Jamie Erdahl, Brad Nestler saying so long from Auburn. 21-14. The Deep South's oldest rivalry gave us another dandy. The College Football Post Game Show presented by Rocket Mortgage is up next after these messages. So long from the Plains.